If you're watching this video on the day that it was published, it's now been 102 days since Sunderland Association Football Club sacked Michael Beale. Now on that day, Mike Dodds was appointed as a interim manager, with quotation marks. In reality, he was just a glorified caretaker, with the club ultimately just put onto autopilot until the end of the season when the club would then appoint the new permanent manager. Now looking at the odds as of this morning, Will Still is the favourite, followed by Bo Svensson, then Reen Marik, Slaven Bilic, Liam Rossinia and Paul Heckingbottom. Will Still has been the most rumoured name throughout the last few months. It seems like he was the number one target. But it's now being reported that that's looking unlikely and he seems to be having talks with Norwich. So Will Still is seemingly out of the race. At number two, it's Bo Svensson. Now, Bo Svensson is a Swedish-American actor, director, producer. That's the wrong Bo Svensson. Hang on a second. <laughs> Here he is. Previously manager of Mines, but he has now agreed to take over at Union Berlin on the 1st of July. So he is also out of the race. This means that uh, Reen Marik or Reni Marik, however you pronounce his name, I'll be honest with you, I'd never heard of him until this all happened. He is currently the manager of Bayern Munich under 19s. Previously assistant at Leeds, Borussia Dortmund, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Red Bull Salzburg, and Red Bull Salzburg under 18. <sighs> so, yeah, he's never been the manager of a first team squad. He's never even been an assistant of a first team squad. I don't know. I, that seems like a wild appointment to me. But then again, the football management scene has gone insane this summer. Bayern Munich want Vincent Company. Kieran McKenna has got Chelsea and Man United fighting over him when he was managing in League One last year. Wayne Rooney's apparently going to Plymouth Argyle. Like, all logic seems to have gone out the window. So Sunderland hiring the Bayern Munich under-19s coach. In old money, that seems insane. But at the moment, that seems like an average appointment. After that, you've got Slaven Bilic. I find it hard to get excited about Slaven Bilic. He just seems to go to clubs, get sacked after a while. He's also currently at Saudi, so we ain't going to be offering him more money than he's at, so he ain't going to be coming here. That leaves Liam Rossinia and Paul Heckingbottom. The only two managers on this list who have any experience managing in the Championship. Now, Rossinia was interim manager at Derby and he had a 58% win record. Pretty good. He then went to Hull. He managed 78 games, won 27, drew 28, lost 23 for a 34.6% win percentage. He didn't do too bad, but I made a previous video about him. And uh, yeah, Hull really tailed off towards the end of the season. They looked solid for the playoffs and they kind of fell apart and it cost him his job. Now, I don't think that he should be judged purely on that run of form. If anything, he'll have learnt from that and it'll probably make him a better manager. So, I don't know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be devastated if we went for Liam Rossinia. After that, you've got Paul Heckingbottom. Now, maybe I'm a footballing dinosaur and I'll probably get battered in the comments for this. And maybe I'm just not ambitious. But he's the one that I lean towards, you know. I, for me, I always think we should be looking for a manager who's achieved what your goal is. If our goal is to get promoted from the Championship... He's done that in the last couple of years. He seems like the safe pair of hands for me, which is kind of what Tony Mowbray was. The annoying thing is, though, if we do go for Heckingbottom, he's been available this whole time. He was sacked the day after we sacked Tony Mowbray. We could have had him instead of Michael Beale. And that's depressing, isn't it? A really depressing thought. We could have had him. Don't think we would have gone up this year anyway, but... At least we would have had the continuity going into next season rather than having us start again this summer. But it is what it is, unfortunately. 
This next appointment is crucial. We need to get the right man because if we don't, we are in trouble next year. Who do you think we should hire as the next Sunderland manager? Comment and let me know. Oh, and on Sunday, I'm going to be going to see Sunderland under-21s away at Tottenham Hotspur. So I'll have one more away day video for this season. Tune into that. I hope it's going to be good.